Fracking, the process of extracting natural gas from rock on land, has been given a go-ahead in the UK. However, the technique is causing shockwaves amongst residents near drilling sites who claim they haven't been informed of the potentially disastrous environmental impact. Artie's Ivor Bennett reports. It triggers earthquakes and could poison water supplies, but fracking's just got the green light in the UK. A government study says the controversial gas extraction technique is safe despite causing two tremors in the popular coastal resort of Blackpool last year. Environmentalists fear a smokescreen hiding the far more dangerous side effect of large-scale deadly pollution. What it fails to address is the fact that earthquakes and seismicity and those issues are actually only a very small fraction of the, the, the other associated problems with fracking. So the report doesn't really do justice to any other aspects. So ultimately it's just the Department of Energy and Climate Change who are regulating this. Hydraulic fracturing or fracking extracts methane gas from underground. Millions of gallons of water and chemicals including hydrochloric acid are pumped into a three kilometre deep well at high pressure. When the rock cracks, gas escapes. But so too can deadly toxins and radiation previously locked in the ground. This site just 60 kilometres south of London is one of many the government intends to drill, and the people who live here have had no say. Permission's already been given for fracking to start here, and that's the hole that'll be pumped with water. At 1,000 metres, it's much shallower than most other fracking sites, which means the risks of tremors are much higher, but so too are the chances of toxic chemicals seeping into the water supply. And that's the worry for residents who live nearby. The fact that fracking could take place four miles from my home makes me feel very angry, very disillusioned and very disappointed in our legislators. It's absolutely exasperated that they could even countenance sanctioning it. Because it is an ecocidal technology. It's short-term, it's short-sighted. Halfway between the capital and the coast, Balkham's surrounded by a network of reservoirs that provide water to much of England's densely populated southeast. The fear is the toxic cocktail left by fracking will pollute supplies. Only a quarter of the carcinogenic chemicals pumped in actually come out again. Fracking's already big in America. These online videos show what happens if the well casing splits, taps flaming after gas leaked into the water system. But Britain insists it's a cleaner alternative to coal. Local campaigners are far from convinced. We really need to be looking at how are we going to move away from fossil fuels? And what's happening at the moment is that the government is diverting its attention and its resources towards uh, methods of energy such as nuclear and fracking that don't increase resilience and don't move us away to reduce our, cl uh, our climate um, uh, impact. Fracking's banned in France and Bulgaria because of public outrage. But in the quaint corners of England's countryside, people's fears are no match for the energy giants. Ivor Bennett, RT, Sussex.